last one, guys, is squats. Off you go. Three, four, or five squats. Pushing the bum back, keeping the knees right above the ankles, getting the hips level with the knees, engaging the glutes and the quads as you come up. Just like so. Excellent work, guys. Back into them star jumps. Excellent work, excellent work. Keep them going, guys. Keep them going. Okay. Burpees, off you go. All the way down, kicking back, back up again, and up like so. Your finest burpees. Bum all the way to the heels. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Just all has the knee. It's awesome. Fantastic. Keep them sides going, guys. Keep them going. Keep them going. Okay, now we get to the good stuff. We're up in the reps now. Okay, we're on 8, 10, and 12. 8 for the yellows. 10 for the oranges. 12 for the greens. We're going to start with press-ups again. Normal press-ups. Are you ready? And off you go. Normal press-ups, guys. Normal press-ups. You can go on your knees if you wish to do so. 90 degree bending the elbows. Twist the elbows into the foot of scraping the rib cage on the way down. And then back on your feet. Back to the star jumps. Keep that going, guys. Should be getting nice and warm now. Especially if you're outside in this baking hot sun. Excellent work. Next one, guys. A set of bicycle sit-ups. Keep going. I'll demonstrate them before in case none, some of you don't know what they are. Your feet, if you can, stay six inches in the air. Your hands on your temples. Don't bring your elbows forward like so, okay? You twist your torso to get the elbows to make contact with the knee, like so. And you double the numbers, so it's eight, 10, or 12 on either side. Go! Elbows to the knees, guys. Elbows to the knees. Yeah. Back up and continue our little star jumps. Okay, last one. Get you really, really, really warm. Chest to ground. So do a quick demonstration again. You can all do it. Like a burpee. Before you put your chest to the ground, you stand up and reach for the sky. Eight, 10, and 12 times. Off you go, guys. Off you go, off you go, off you go. Orange is greens with the jump if you want to. Yellow, you don't have to jump. Or if you've got an injury, feel free to not jump either. Thank Morning. You. Beautiful day for it. <laughs> it's tiered. We've got, we've got <laughs> beginners, intermediate, and advanced levels of fitness. It's all good. Give us a Google. <laughs> that, that's Google, by the way. <laughs> After you've done that, guys, back into our star jumps again. Nice. This is good, guys. This is good. Right. Because we're all hardcore OMFers, and we kind of start where most of the boot camps leave off. We're going to start cranking up a little bit. But now we're going to go double exercises. It's two exercises. Happy? We've got to keep moving, guys. We always keep moving. This is how we don't stop moving. It's during the cool down or on the water break. That's why we're all so physically fit. Okay, next two exercises. Keep the star jumps going. We're going to go with alternating squat thrusts. 8, 10, 12. You double your numbers on each leg. Lie flat on your back. You push down with your hands and bring your shoulder blades in the air. Bring your feet six inches in the air. Straight legs as high as you can. Pushing down with the hands, just lifting the legs up like so. Notice the legs aren't windmilling like so. One can't move, the other one's back down. Remember that film Face Off, where John Travolta gets locked up in that magnetized prison? One foot can't move, the other foot's on the floor. It's a bit like that. Okay, guys, are you ready? Squat thrust position down, and off you go. Points on the squat thrust, guys. Keeping your shoulders directly above your wrists, keeping your hips level with your shoulders, if you take your bum too high or you bring your shoulders back behind your hands, you work the shoulders. That's not the right muscle group. After that, guys, again, don't forget to push the hands forward against the upper abs. And again, these are double, guys. You double your numbers. Slow and steady, slow and steady. 
giving you exercises, okay, that are slow and controlled. You can't just rush them. It's a long, slow, prolonged burn through the core. Not only will that sort of accelerate your core developments, burn a few more calories as well to get some quicker results. Maybe like, damn, that guy, not only does he look like Jason Statham, he's actually a half decent instructor too. Keep that going, guys. And when you've done that, back onto your feet. Into your star jumps again, because remember, we don't stop in the middle of an MMF class, do we? Okay, let's try that again. No. We don't stop in an MMF class, do we? No. Okay, let's try that again. We don't stop in an MMF class, do we? No. Yeah, get in there, get in there. Saturday morning, we'll let you off. Um, if you guys are screaming at home, just be bear, bear in mind you've got some neighbours. Uh, if you're in your house on your own, someone might call the police on you, so watch that. Okay, next two exercises, guys. Keep the star jumps going. Next two exercises, these ones are one of my favourites. Very good for core, and again, very good for chest. It's called a strider. It's a bit like an alternating squat thrust, but you bring your legs out really wide and activates all of the, uh, the side of the abs. You can't do that, Mr. B. Just do a normal alternating squat thrust. I'm happy with that. So a strider, normal alternating squat thrust. We just did it like so. A strider, bring the foot around to your elbow, literally right next to your knee. Boom. Boom, right so. You take the weight into your shoulders. You use the oblique muscles to flick your hips around, okay? If you don't engage your obliques, what are you gonna do? You can't get your foot half as close as you can to your elbow. Really flick it round, kink in the hips. Ugh. Working all these muscles to perform that movement. Happy with that? Double the numbers again, guys. Eight, 16, sorry, eight, 10, 12, so 16, 20 or 24 on your total numbers. Strider position down, then after that, guys, it's a set of close arm press-ups. A set of close arm press-ups, just like so, eight, 10 and 12. Are you ready? Stand by, and off you go. From the three, throwing the foot around, trying to get it level with the hand if you can. Slightly further forward is a bonus. Close arm press ups. Hang on your knees if you wish to do so. Excellent work, guys. Then after that, let's give you a new holding exercise. You're probably getting bored of that one, okay? New holding exercise now is a step, step, lunge. Step, step, lunge. You're alternating your front foot on that lunge. Off we go, guys. Can I do something different to that? Of course you can. You can do then. Jump, jump, and a squat. Yeah, happy with that? Awesome, keep that going. Step, step, lunge, guys, step, step, lunge. Keep that going, keep that going. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna focus on the core now, okay? Doubling up on the core. <clears throat> so our first one, sit up twists. Bend the knees to the feet are flat on the floor. You twist on the way up. A lot of people come up and then twist like so. If you twist on the way up when you're here, the side of the abs are working extra hard to fight that additional sort of, you know, gravity because you're sort of off balance. The weight's not on your spine, it's on your muscles. So they work harder to perform the movements. That's what we're looking for, okay? Twist on the way up, so when you get to the top, you're facing that way as you go down, facing the sky. Yeah. yeah. Imagine you have a robotic arm in a car manufacturing plant, yeah? The movement is just perfectly in position when it gets to that angle, yeah? Dunk, dunk, just like so. Your next exercise you're going to do, guys, alternating V-sits. Uh, again, double your numbers. Are you ready? Standing by, guys. Sit up position ready. Sit up twisties. And off you go. Sit up twisties, guys. Do not double your numbers. Just do your 8, 10, and 12, which is your 4, 5, and 6 on either side. So remember, so anyway, you're twisting on the way up. So you twist, you twist on the way up till you get to the top. You're literally facing, so dink, you're facing that way. Dink, facing that way, there you go. Excellent work, guys, excellent work. Morning. Hiya. It's a beautiful day for it. Very good. We're doing real time and online, okay? Pushing the boat out. Give us a Google. That's Google, by the way. Yeah. After that, guys, alternating V-sits again, do double your numbers. Try and get the whole torso off the floor. Don't just be doing that, touching your leg, okay? Your torso has to come off the floor. Get yourself involved, guys, get yourself involved. 
Can you send me that photo? That'll be a good one. <laughs> we'll give you a shout out. We'll put it on social media. Provided by... Excellent work, guys. After that, back into our step, step, lunge. Step, step, lunge. One, two, lunge. One, two, lunge. Keep that going, guys. You may be tired, guys, you may be tired, but we'll start doing some clever muscle usage now, okay? We'll cycle through the major muscle groups, give it one set of muscles at a time to recover, so we can keep going and keep going and keep going. Next exercise, okay? We're gonna go double chest. Looking in, guys, looking in. We are going, press up, press up, knee tap. Okay, with the knee, okay? When you bring the knee really far forward, it's engaging that core, okay? A little move of the hand, think, just like so. Hand shouldn't go past the shoulders, okay? Up, really get the knee up. Big high knee, just like so. Eight, 10, and 12. You can go on your knees if you wish to do so. Off the knees for the knee tap, of course. Your second exercise, guys, is jumping jacks. Just like that. Jumping jacks, just like so. Keeping your shoulders directly above the hands. Stand by, guys. Eight, 10, and 12 of each. And off you go. Really bring that knee up nice and high, guys. Engaging the core, so you want to go on your knees, on your knees, off the knees, knee tap. On the knees, press up, off the knees, knee tap. Keep that going, guys. Again, don't double your numbers. I'm not a horrible man. After that, guys, you jump jumping jacks. Keep it going, keep it going. For those with the HD camera on them right now, yes. That is sweat dripping off my face. It's a warm one. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. And back on your feet. And you guessed it. Step, step, lunge. Step, step, lunge. Step, step, lunge. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Oh, should have worn my other shorts. It's really hot. Excellent work, guys, excellent work. Keep that going, keep that going. 10 more seconds. After that, we're gonna do a core and a chest combination, okay? Core and chest combination. And relax out there then, guys, relax out there. Relax out there. If you wanna, guys, get a little sip of water, get a little sip of water, looking into the camera, I will tell you the next thing we're gonna do as you have a little sip. So it's chest and core combined. Still two exercises, so the gecko press up, just like so. Elbow to knee when you come down, on the other side. On your knees, it's just the same, on your knees. Gecko up, just like so. After that, we're doing alternating squat first, but with a twist, bringing them across your body. Just to be, I know you've got an injury, you can't do those again, normal alternating ones to do. So just like so, guys, but really twisting that knee. Across the body, focusing on keeping the hands directly above the shoulders. Again, bring the shoulders back. You're not really engaging the chest and the core. The more you work, you, you're working your shoulders a bit more, okay? Keep the weight through the chest and the core, okay? Side of the abs. Everyone happy? You all happy to continue? Okay, so it's gecko, gecko press up. Um, eight, 10, and 12. And then your alternate squat press with a twist for your second one. Is that double? Oh, and it's what was guys, I'm afraid it's a double. Morning. Morning. Okay. Everyone happy? Yeah. Yep. You know what, one thing about lockdown, you can wave to people now, and they wave back and say hello, they look like you've got a chicken on your head. It's made, it's made, it's made the north come down south. <laughs> oh, steady. Surrounded by southerners, it's not a good move. Oh, are you ready, guys? Okay. Gecko press up position. Ready? And off you go. Again, don't double your numbers, guys. Just eight, 10, and 12. That's four, five, and six on either side. Again, you can go on your knees for these if you wish to do so. Just focus on keeping your hands underneath your shoulders. Tense the bum, tense the core to keep your back nice and straight. That's all we're looking for. And then alternating squat first, guys, but with a twist, bringing the leg across the body, engaging the side of the, uh, the abs. A W numbers, yes, please. George, how long have you been training with us? About a year now, year and a half? 
<laughs> alternating exercises will always be an alternating exercise. After that, guys, back to your step, step, uh, lunge, step, step, lunge, step, step, lunge. A new holding exercise. Huh? A new holding exercise. A new holding exercise. Oh. Imagine if you were demanding, TG. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, these next ones are called rainbow squats. Relax out there, guys. New holding exercise, okay? I call them S Club 7s or rainbow squats, whatever you want to call them, okay? Make sure your toes and knees are pointing forward. Go back so you can see. Arms in the air like so. Down to one side. Keep the heel blocks flat on the floor. Oh. Remember guys, bend at the knees, not the hips. Keep that going guys, keep it going. Anyone remember the song? You went there ain't no party like a... Oh my party. Excellent work, keep that going guys. Keep the little rainbow squats going in S-Club 7s. Whatever you want to call them, that's on you. Okay, next one's okay. More legs now, more legs, legs and core. Legs and core, legs and core. So, first one, you're gonna lunge it forward like so. One foot back. You're gonna bend down, put your hands on the floor, your fingers up to the tips just like so. And you're gonna push up with this front leg. You're gonna work your hamstring and your glutes. Just there, okay? That part of your leg. Yellows, I would like 18. Oranges, I would like 20. Greens, I would like 22. On each leg. Sorry, Mr. Hart, it's an exercise class. <laughs> I referred you all on Zoom, I could mute you all. <laughs> okay, relax out there then, guys. Hold your hold exercise. Take a big breath, it's just gonna burn your bum, okay? Your bum and your legs are gonna really hurt. So, just three big breaths. Just to... Yeah, once more then. So, you take basically you like that, you lunge it forward. The rear leg does nothing, it's all in the front leg. Hands on the floor, like so, just literally keep your hands on the floor. Straighten the leg, keep the heel on the floor as well. Just like so. Glute, hamstring, top of the legs there. We'll do. Yep. Okay, guys, off you go, off you go, off you go. If you can try to straighten the leg a bit more, though, George, try to straighten the leg a bit, bring your rear leg in a bit more. Rear leg in a bit more, it's all in the front leg, it's all in the front leg, that's it. Try and get that front leg nice and straight, straight the better. Excellent work, guys, excellent work. Mr. B, rear leg in a bit more. That's it, a bit more still. That's it, so you can get that front leg nice and high. There you go. You limited the rear leg out straight. That was limiting your uh, the um, the straightness of your front leg. Oh, right. Yeah. So basically, guys, if you got your leg really far back, you can't get a good stretch on that leg. Okay. Oh. Just literally, foot about a foot behind your leading foot. And it's just up like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get a good burn. We're doing it on one side. Change it over. Getting as straight as you can. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So any pain, push through the burn. And once you've done that, guys, Ooh, you're welcome. Feet shoulder with the part again. Ooh, back into our rainbow squats. God, look at these, are more quaddy. Excellent work, guys. Next one we're going to do is again a bit more glute and side of the abs. So we're going to do a glute squat, which is basically your rear leg goes around the back, you squat down, and you engage the glute. A normal lunge is like so reverse lunge, watch the leg goes around the back, and you go down, okay, pulling on the bum cheek. Very important you do that. Do a rear one so you can see, leg goes round, work in the glute. Okay, happy with that? 8, 10, and 12 either side, guys, off you go. Slow and steady, getting that twist. What I do as well, I twist in to the lunge leg, okay? Get an extra twist, go through the glute. I know they seem like a distant thing, guys, but it's a really good one if you go on your beach holiday. It will happen again soon, guys. Stick with it. This gives you clear definition between the top of your leg and the bottom of your butt which is not a bad thing, apparently. Keep it going, keep it going. Do not lose count, you've got double your numbers. Eight, 10 or 12 on each leg. Nice work, guys. And after you've done that, 
looking in for the next exercise, so we can go straight into it. Sit up position, just like so. Make sure you've got a 45 degree angle between the shin bones and the thigh bones, okay? Your knees aren't right, under, right above your ankles like so, that's doing nothing for you. The further your feet are away from your bum, the more you'll benefit from this exercise. Feet about three inches apart, you push up like so. Again, engaging the bum and the hamstrings. You then pick a leg, any leg at all. Fold it over the other one, just like that. All the weight is now in the leg on the floor. Put your head back. It gives you more sort of dexterity through the spine to do the movement. If you're looking up like that, it limits you a little bit. I'm not sure why, I'm not a biomechanical engineer. Something to do with the curvature of the spine. So you lie flat on the floor, look up at the sky, try and spot shapes in the clouds. And again, I want 18, I want 20, or I want 22 hip thrusts. Get as high as you can, all the way down to the floor. All the way up and all the way down. All the way up and all the way down. Excellent work, guys. Put you doing that one side, change legs, do it on the other side. You guys just joined us on the floor, do it. Eight, uh, 18, 20, or 22, depending on your bib color. 20 for the, uh, sorry, 18 for the yellows, 20 for the oranges, 22 for the greens. After you have done this, guys, if you look down there, see Inspector Derry with his hand over his face, looking to the sun. After you've done that, guys, take a slow jog down over to Inspector Derry. You're with him for the second half of the class. You Zoom people, you stay right there. I'm not leaving you. You got me for the whole class. You're very welcome. Okay, keep that going, guys. Keep that going, newcomers. Keep it going, keep it going. As soon as you're done, guys, you guys head down there then. You guys, you can stay there if you want, or you can jump in front of me. It's your call. Depends if you want to get a tan on the front of your body or the back of your body. If you finish that, guys, back into your rainbow squats. Just like so. Boom, rainbow squats. Rainbow squats. Cheers, guys. It's been a pleasure. Zoom people, stay there. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Doing really good, guys. Doing really good. Fantastic work, guys. Fantastic work. You guys are finished. Okay, you want to be, be famous or you can go just that side? Go You're going to go that side. Okay, Mr. W, no worries. So a holding exercise, guys, once you get in place. Just rainbow squats, just like so. If you get in position, just keep doing that for me. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Okay, handover complete. Back in the room, all sorted. Oh. Hello, Mr. C. Good to see you again. Hello, Mr. Liam. Thank Thanks you. Long time no see. What's a pirate's favourite letter? Arr. You'd think that, but it's actually the C. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, keep that going, guys. Sorry, Mr. C. Just thought that was made me think of that. Why did the can crush give up his job? Uh... It's so depressing. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, well, we've, got, we've got Zoom people listening for the first time. I'm sorry about him, guys. <laughs> it's his first time in about, well, since lockdown. It's good to have you back there, Mr. C. Okay, guys, so we're doing double exercises. Okay, at the minute we're doing legs and we're doing, um, we're doing core. So yeah. you just caught the tail end of our butt exercises to do a few more, okay? So the next one we're going to do, keep doing the rainbow squats, guys. You go in a side plank position, just like so. The, the, the lower foot, you kick the foot out of the way so the foot's going behind you. And you lie flat like so. No, you don't. You go up on your elbow like so, sorry. And all you do is pushing down with that knee, lifting your hips off the floor, engaging that outside of that bum, okay? And we're going to lift the arm and the leg up at the same time just to get some more muscle activation there going through the body. 8, 10, and 12, one side. Then you lie flat on your back. Arm comes down like so. And you're going to go arm above the head. Line with your side still. And it's 8, 10, and 12 of those. Oh, yeah. Get them side of the abs burning. Rah! Then you turn it over. Just like so. Again, up like that. Ooh. Eight, 10, and 12. Line down this arm, okay? Down like so. On your side, okay? Not on your back, on your side. Arm above you like so. And it's up. Really get that stretch, okay? Stretching as high as you can. Leg and arm down to the floor so you're sort of going below 90 degrees, okay? Rah! Back up again. Touching your leg. Eight, 10, and 12 times on each side. Up you go. Woo! The first one, you're working the side of your bum there, and you're pushing down. Then if you go to a gym and you sit on the other chair and you do that, you're working the side of your bums there. We're doing that, but one leg at a time. So I said the G word in OMF class. I said the G word, gym. Excellent work, then lying down. Then ones. You guys are going to have aches in places you never even knew existed. You're very welcome. 
excellent work. Changing it over. So you can just roll over, guys, and facing the camera so you can all see what I'm doing. Again, that rear leg, okay, bend it back, get it out of the way. Up like so, okay, make sure you've got a straight line, not kinking the hips. Down and up. Again, feel that burn there more than anything else. Getting your hips as high as you can off the floor. And again, line down again. Again, stay on your side, working the side of the abs. Okay. The good news, guys, do that again. Second time through. All right. Just when you thought the ache was enough. First time is okay. Second time, you're going to be crying out for someone to come and save you. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. This is good. This is good. This is good. If you are finished, guys, you've been a bit of a racing snake and you've plowed through this at a rate of knots, back into your rainbow squats. I just keep them going till we all catch you up and have a word with yourself about being too fast. Keep it going, guys. Doing good. I'm on a hill here. It's not good, is it? Let me do it a bit more. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. The end is nigh. Remember, pain is weakness, leaving the body. Your one mission in life right now is complete this set. Worry about the effects later. Get it done. Grit your teeth. Last few reps, just push it out. Oh. Oh. And then back into your rainbow squats. Keep that going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh. Everyone happy? Yeah, let me do it. You want sorry? That hurt. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, good for your butt. Again, I think you guys missed this when I explained it. This is good for ed good definition between the top of your leg and the edge of your butt cheek. So there's no sort of grey area, so to speak. It's one on one, clear definition. It's like if you were if you ever had glasses in your life and you go and get a glass tie eye test and you put glasses on, all of a sudden you can see edges of objects. It's not just like a slight inter intertwining this in the background. It's like clear definition between stuff. I never had that. Yes, no? I did. Yeah. It's good, it's good. You should try it. So if you haven't done it, guys, it's a wonderful experience. Um, you can see what the news is and stuff like that, and road signs glasses. on motorways and stuff, which is probably important because that could be quite dangerous traveling at 70 miles an hour. Um, right, next exercise, guys. Press up position. Okay, this one, okay, is a, a wide legged squat thrust, a jumping jack, and a shoulder press combination. That is one repetition. Let me show you what I mean. For the press ups, guys, you can go onto your knees like so. It's a press up, it's a jumping jack, it's up like so. and a shoulder press, ah, back in like so. A press up, jumping jack, push up like that, shoulder press, and that's one repetition. Happy with that? Eight, 10 and 12 times, guys, eight, 10 and 12 times. Remember, on the knees for the press ups, if you wish to do so, and again, for the shoulder presses, keep the knees on the floor, hands in front of the shoulders, just lean forward and just do that, okay? Off we go, guys, off we go, off we go, off we go. Any greens out there with really big shoulder muscles, you can turn that shoulder press into what we call a pike press, where you're literally doing a handstand with your feet on the floor, just like so, and it's just like that. Ooh, if you really want to show off, then back to your press up, and your star jump, and it's up. You can do that, if you prefer. No names mentioned in Mr. Snow. 
But obviously, when you put your feet down, land quietly because your neighbor might get a bit upset again. Very good effort, guys. Very good effort. It's got a long one, guys. Just keep that going. Keep it going. So have a little look on Zoom. Make sure you're all doing okay. Uh, 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 uh. I can't see her on the floor doing floor exercises, of course. Oh, hang on a minute. Hi, Megan and uh, Mrs. R. You all right? Nice work, guys. Nice work. You're doing really good, guys. You're doing really good. Keep that going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. So again, little reminder, press up. Jumping jack, like so, to make it slightly easier. Or if you want to be a ninja, feet up like so. Pike press, just like that. One. Just like so. Keep that going, guys. Keep that going. Until you hit your eight, your 10, or your 12. It's a long one. It's going to be horrible. But again, just grit your teeth. A bit of grit. Get through it. Imagine you do some DIY, and you just catch your thumb with a hammer. That temporary anger, that, ah, oh, just to get through the last couple of reps, okay? But control it, though. Don't go all crazy. A bit of controlled aggression if you need to. Everyone happy? Yep. Yep. Standing there with your arms crossed. Don't cross them arms, seed. Oh. Okay, guys, that's the, okay, it's going to be on the cardio then. We've got a few sad faces around here. So, so, plank position down. Uh, planking it down, guys, planking it down. Very good effort. Okay. Uh, just holding that plank, guys, holding that plank. So in the plank, you can drop onto your knees if you wish to do so. But at any point, okay, doing the plank, you want to make sure that your hips and your shoulders are in alignment, okay? Some of you might have slightly big feet or slightly small feet. Your legs might not be able to go into a perfectly straight line with your torso. I'm okay with that. As long as you can feel it in the core, your elbows are right underneath your shoulders and your head's not drooping down like so. You're looking in front of your hands to so keeping that neutral spine. That's what we're looking for. You just hold that there, guys. Whilst looking into the camera or to me, if you're here in person, we're going to turn to our side and do a side plank. From that position there, you can drop onto your knees if you wish to do so again, just like that. Arm of your head. What are you gonna do? Straight leg. Just like that, guys. Eight, 10, and 12. Other side. Up. Keeping the leg in the air. Eight, 10, and 12. Off you go with that, guys. Off you go with that. Remember, it's a side plank, guys. Keeping your hips in the air. You can go on your knees if you wish to do so. Engaging the side of the abs. When you hold yourself off the floor, engaging the other side of the abs as you perform that leg and arm movement. Just once on each side, guys, once on each side. Excellent work, guys, excellent work. Very good effort, guys, very good effort. After you finish that, into press up to planks. One hand on the floor, push up to the press up position. And then down, up to the press up position. And then down again, up to the press up position. And then down again. Keep that going, guys. Keep that going. Uh, again, on this, you can go on your knees if you wish to do so. But remember, guys, keeping the hands underneath the shoulders. Again, I'll do a side profile so you can see. Look at my hands. They're directly underneath my shoulders, even when I push up like so. If you've got your hands even a millimeter too far forward, instead of working your chest, you're working your shoulders. Okay, it's very important you get that form right, okay? Underneath the shoulders and up. Underneath the shoulders. And up, okay, work in the chest. If it hurts, because you've activated some muscle groups you haven't worked in a while, or you've been doing the wrong technique and your shoulders are really big and are overpowering your chest, guess why you sort of default to go to make it easier for the larger muscle group. Keep the hand under the shoulders, chest will develop. Gentlemen, you get shirts fit you better, you get that line all the way up your chest. Ladies, clothes fit you better. <laughs> Be careful what I say here, the world just becomes a better place. <laughs> keep that going, guys, keep that going. Keep it going, keep it going. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. And from there, hold it there, guys. Just hold that super pressure position. Straight arms again, hands underneath the shoulders. You're just holding it there, okay? Holding it there. You're doing it right. You should feel a bit of strength through the chest and through the core as it stops your hips drooping forward, like so, okay? Tense the bum, tense the core. Lock out the elbows and just hold that there, guys. Just hold it there. We've got 30 seconds. Good, we're doing. 
Hold it there, guys. Hold it there. Should be an absolute breeze. <clears throat> keep it going. Keep it going. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Holding it. Ten. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Press up position now, guys. Okay. I would like eight, ten, or twelve press ups. Off you go. Anyone can do press ups when they're fresh. Locking out the elbows. And then on your feet. We're doing high knees. Okay, guys, keep it going, keep it going. Last six minutes, okay? Six minutes left. Then we got a warm down. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be amazing. Everyone happy? Yeah. All right, last six minutes, guys. We don't stop moving, okay? We don't stop moving. So, what we're gonna do, our holding exercise is step, step, elbow to knee. Step, step, elbow to knee. Okay, arms are going across the body as well. Okay, get them moving. So it's boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And hold that elbow to knee for a second, and a slight squat in that leg. Okay. Just like so. Just like that. Slight squat there. Elbow to knee. Working the side of the obliques and everything. Working the shoulders with the arm swings. Keep that going, okay? Nice and quick. Just like so, there you go. Also, it looks really cool for all these people passing, walking by, thinking, hey, look at them, they look good. <laughs> Excellent work, guys. Remember, swinging the arm just like so. A bit like a, uh, a bit like a that, yeah? But you're not really doing that. Uh, which one is to do that? That was it. That's where your penny drops now. You're all saying, doesn't look like Libby Spence. No, Jason Stake, it looks like Libby Spence. Yeah, thanks guys. Okay, keep that going. Keep it going, keep it going. Exercise repetitions are again, eight, 10, and 12. Ooh, I'll demonstrate the first one we're doing. Squat thrust, squat thrust, jump into that combination, just like so. Out, open, close, in. Out, open, close, in. Eight, 10, and 12 times, off you go. <clears throat> so, from there, out, open, close, in. Keep that going, guys. Keeping the shoulders level with the hips. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario. Slightly underneath. Tense the bum, tense the core. Hip shouldn't droop. When you keep the legs out or open the legs. Yeah. And back into your hoop. Keep that going, guys. Keep it going. Remember, six minutes down to like 4.45 now. Don't stop, don't stop. Come with somebody. Where's your pizzazz? Imagine, right? You've seen Baz across the dance floor. You haven't met him yet. He's not allowed in the dance yeah. floor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then he's at the bar chatting to his mates. You're on the dance floor, yeah? You gotta, you gotta get his attention, yeah? It's gonna work, is it? It's like a peacock goes. Yeah. You're gonna do your thing. You're your male peacock equivalent of a of a dance off for uh, Baz. Like That's it. Where you go for it? Shake your booty. Yeah. Bad. Oh yeah. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. Next exercise, guys, is going to be oh my favourite. It is a press up, ooh, and a heel flick. Press up, heel flick. Press up, heel flick. Press up, heel flick. Press up, heel flick. Just like so. Eight, ten, or twelve, guys. Eight, ten, or twelve. Off you go. Or a donkey kick, whatever you want to call it. Press a donkey kick, you've got to flick the hips up, engaging the core. Ugh. Press up, donkey kick, press up, donkey kick, press up, donkey kick, press up, donkey kick, press up. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. When you finish that, guys, straight into a set of sit-ups. Oh. 
Ooh, 8, 10, and 12 sit-ups, guys. 8, 10, and 12 sit-ups. Last few minutes, guys. Let's keep it going. Push, push, push. You may be tired. You may want to stop. Don't worry about it. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Then after that, guys, stay on your backs. Look it in. This is the world's worst sit-up exercise. It's horrible. Your feet stay six inches in the air. Your hands go above your head like so. Arms stay straight. One knee comes up. Literally shoulder blades off the floor like you do a half sit, just like that. Just touching your trainer laces. Each rep. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. About four seconds per repetition, okay? It's really long, really slow and you get a right burn through the abs. A lot of you are gonna be cursing me. Remember guys, you're not on Zoom, you're here in person, say it in your head. You're on, you're on mute guys, you think out loud to make sure your neighbors and kids can't hear you. Eight, 10 and 12 by the side, off you go. Ah. After that, this is a set of striders, and we're done. Keep it going, keep it going. Ah. Feel the burn, feel the burn. I'm not even joking guys, I'm halfway and I'm dying now already. Uh, this way you grit your teeth guys, that grit comes in. Remember you're doing some DIY, you bash your thumb with a hammer, you're like, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna put this shelf up. I've been promising the missus this for the past two weeks and she's getting fredders with me. Or whatever it is guys, whatever it is. You guys can relate to that. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, I hate those. And then to finish off, guys, remember that striders earlier? Really wide open eight squat plus working all of the abs just like that. Legs come wide like so. You've got double your numbers, eight, 10, and 12 either side. Working your beaks to bring your hips around as well so you can get your foot in front of your hands. This is our finishing move, guys, okay? Eight, 10, and 12 on each leg. Off you go, big finish, big finish. And it's a warm down. Imagine we're kicking Corona away. Ah. Oh. All right, guys, good effort. Woo. How's everyone feeling? All right. Sorry, I apologize. You Zoom guys at home, when we did the turnaround earlier, I don't think I gave you any water. So guys on, at home at Zoom, have a sip of water. My apologies, it's all happening so fast. Same of you guys, got some water if you want guys. We're done now, it's got the warm down to do. <clears throat> some big deep breaths guys, start slowing that heart rate down a little bit. Oh. I don't want to toot my own horn guys, but that could be the best online class you guys are gonna to do today. You guys get the best of both worlds, so different, different story. All right, so I had a drink, good to go. Looking at your hands, pick your favorite one, stick it in the air, kill it down your back, hand on the elbow, and then across the body like so, just stretching off your triceps. <clears throat> and changing arms. So, everyone happy? Yep. Awesome. Okay, guys, so the good news is, we finished now. If you haven't already had some, get some brekkie down here, get a load of drink inside you, do a bit more stretching. Go on to Facebook at 11.30, well, 11.25, the main OMF one, not the Horsham one. I should have put the Horsham one, I messed up, from the normal OMF one. And uh, join the Facebook Live class, 45 minute session, just like this. But I can't see you, obviously, so I'm kind of second guessing where you're at. One arm across the body, other arm behind the elbow, pull it tight to the chest, stretching up the shoulder. It's going to be awesome. Tell your friends and family.
it's a free class with an option to donate to a charity if you wish to do so. Not compulsory. I say that again and I stress it, not compulsory. Changing arms, guys. Uh, class, some of class two are here. Hands out wide, guys, like so. Twist your hands around so your thumbs are underneath your palms, okay? Keep your hands in that position, wrapping the hands around the back of the kidneys or the hips. Squeeze the elbows together behind the back. <coughs> Stretching up your chest. Interlocking the fingers, guys. Push the hands forward, stretching off the back. And then from there, <coughs> hip turn as far as you can forward, hands as far away from the body as you can, and take it all the way up, just like so. Not bend elbows, locking out the elbows. I just stretch it off top of the legs, but mainly the core. Hold that for 10 more seconds. And then from there, guys, slowly out that stretch, keep the back nice and straight, and block out the knees. Lean all the way forward, stretching off your hamstrings. And slowly out that stretch, guys. One foot to the glute, stretching off the quads. Remember, you can't grab an off over balance. Social distancing to look at the floor. Pick a spot so you don't lose your balance. If you're at home, grab a drain pipe or a door or whatever you've got to hand. Bring the knee forward, gently put the foot down. And then other foot. Oh, oh, lost it. There we go. And bring the knee forward. Gently put the foot down. Last one. Press up position. Push your bum in the air. Heel into the floor. One foot over the back of the other foot. Lifting up the calf muscle. If you want to get a bit more height, I come sort of up onto my fingers, off my palms. Just get a good push down. The flatter you get that heel into the floor, the better you stretch through that calf muscle. Change your legs. And relax out there, guys. <clears throat> Everyone just come around the back here on, as you, as you maintain your social distance and get within camera shot. You can all say hi and bye to each other. All good. All wave, guys. Nice work. Very good effort. Give yourself a big round of applause. Ooh, best class today. You're welcome, guys. Okay. Remember, Horsham Matters today, 11.30. Spread the word. I'll put up a post up in a minute. Share it for me. That'd be much appreciated. Uh, you've got the timetable, see you at the next one. Remember, you've got a book in to be here, guys, limited to five for people, uh, sometimes ten for the busy ones. Take care, guys. See you all again soon.